Here we go with the official update. Roxanne Hendrickson, who used to be a vegan. I was hardcore vegan. And just a little backstory. Um, my mom got colon cancer and I was reading about processed meat. I gave up meat thinking processed meat meant everything. Um, but I started going downhill because I started living on fruit and carbohydrates. And it just kind of fed into the parasite situation and probably yeast and there's probably a whole bunch of stuff that it's feeding into. Just so you guys know, the other day I decided to eat like two days of sweet potatoes or just live on sweet potatoes because I was hungry and my, I'm down to like, I was down to 110 pounds, you guys. 110 pounds, basically. I'm probably 115 now. But my diet and my weight has just been like my life, you know. It's like all I can consume myself with because all of a sudden I look and I'm skinny AF, you know. I'm like, I look, I saw my back how skinny my back was, and I got scared, like literally scared. <sighs> well, look, I ate, but like the carbohydrates, the freaking, oh my God, okay, so my whole eyeball was big. This happened, my head, this happened. This is all freaking from the sweet potato, organic. I baked it in the oven for a long time, and I've been trying to go with Dr. Gundry's kind of diet and do certain vegetables. Um, also, a little update on the supplements I've been taking, guys. Um, now that I'm open to meat, I got recommended this Beef Organs. And the company is called Heart and Soil. Found this chick on Instagram, but this is basically New Zealand grass-fed liver. New Zealand grass-fed heart. New Zealand grass-fed kidney. New Zealand grass-fed pancreas, New Zealand grass-fed spleen, all 600 milligrams. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's all that's in there in uh, gelatin. And I know when I used to be vegan, I wouldn't even eat gelatin and stuff. But you know what? Uh, this chick said her hair was growing. And, like, it's kind of weird because I think I noticed some hair, extra hair growing. I don't know. I didn't know I was losing hair, but... And then the only other thing I've been taking this chickie recommended was a uh, probiotic. This one called Seed. It does seem to be making my skin softer, helping my skin in a lot of ways and my digestion. So I think if I'm on that stuff for a month, it's been like two weeks I've been on it. I think it's making a difference. And I did notice my eyes were starting to change color a little bit. You can't really tell in this lighting here. but So... Basically, the moral of the story is that, oh, guys, too, when I ate the sweet potato, I had, like, depression. There's a lot of factors involved, period, and all that, but I had, like, depression, and it was, um, it w I went downhill. Everything was fine. I didn't have pain, nothing, and then I was like, sweet potatoes, two days straight. I go, I go hard, but sometimes, sometimes when you go hard on, like, a mono diet and you just eat one thing, you can really see your body being, like, Ooh, or like how it really reacts you know and when I eat a lot of meat and protein it seems to react better and my skin I mean I haven't got had the coconut sugar it's starting to heal my skin's starting to heal um, but I've effed up my face a bunch with with having to try you know carbohydrates and I used to eat pizza it was really bad guys I understand like at least I can have compassion on people on the sad diet and just eating whatever fast food and all that but listen guys um I'm on it with the water I think I'm actually realizing that I might be dehydrated because I felt my kidneys my kidneys hurt all a lot of my breakouts are by my kidneys and my liver so I really gotta get some like tea herbal tea does anyone have any recommendations for herbal tea besides obviously the obvious mil milk thistle and the obvious ones um or just a type of tea from Whole Foods or something. Something that really works. Or like somehow I can make the tea myself with fresh herbs. I think that's the key is the fresh herbs. But life has been kind of wild in a good way. Um, I'm feeling good and things are changing and forming and I'm growing. And I think I'm getting healthier. My eyes are starting to change. And I'm going to have a whole talk on eye color, guys. Uh, eye color, blood type, growing your teeth. I think I feel my tooth coming in again more. <laughs> That's a whole nother game. Everyone's going to comment on this video. We don't care about your carnivore diet. We just care about your teeth. But guys, it's related. 
my teeth, they're not, they don't hurt. My gums don't hurt. On the carnivore diet, it's, if you start doing sugar, um, even my friend said oatmeal was hurting his teeth. And I even said oatmeal in one video. I want to take that video down, I think. But yeah, we need, I think everyone, if you're serious about your teeth, cut the carbohydrates, cut the sugar, every kind of way, fruit, and just do straight like fat and uh, protein and very tiny amounts of like salad maybe. But all right, guys, that was my update, I guess. And I want to make a better, cooler video next time. You don't even know what I'm working on. Woo, this shit's about to get hot, though. Like, hot. All right, like, literally hot. Peace and love.